Hello, good evening. Good evening, you all. I should go get my, hold on one second. Okay, I need everybody to hit the like and the share button for me while we're waiting. Please hit the like and share button. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hit like and hit share. I'm going to give some people a chance to get their notifications and we're going to get started. We're not going to wait too long. I know some people are actually cooking along with me tonight, so I don't want to just jump right in just yet. I'm going to give them a moment. Thank you in advance for hitting like, hitting like and hitting share. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I should have 200 shares, 213, 17 shares. Okay, I got me some water. So if you're cooking with me, Honey, you're in for a treat. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Thank you, Lisa, for sharing. Thank you, LaShonda. I need you all to hit like and share. Facebook has changed up their thing and I need you all, I need your support. So if you're here and you actually support me and you love cooking with Aisha, you wanna continue to see my content, I really need you to hit like and share. It's important. I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't. <laughs> Hey, Miyoshi, thank you, dear. Hello, LaShonda. All right, what time is it? We'll give one more minute, and then we're gonna get started. Make sure your notifications are on. Um, there, it's a hit or miss when you see my, my lives or my posts. So whenever you see something from my page, make sure your uh, notifications are on, okay? Make sure your notifications are on. Hey, Malik. Thank you, Lisa. All right, so I got y'all pulled up over here. I'm not, maybe I should go ahead and share to my, uh... oh my God, I forgot to share to my YouTube. This is awful. <laughs> I meant to do restream so that I could, uh, or stream yard so that I could share to my YouTube, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh Lord, they'll forgive me. Let me share one more place and then we'll get started. And we're going to start off by going over our ingredients. And I'm telling you all, this is going to be good. It is going to be so, so, so good. All right. Thank you for the 55 shares. It's over 300 people here. Y'all can share, 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 share. <laughs> like, share, interact. All right, let me go back to my live so I can see you all comments because I can see you barely on my phone. So I need to pull you up on my computer so that I can see you closely. Okay. So again, good evening. We are cooking um, gumbo on tonight. So I don't know, it's been almost a week. I shared you all the ingredients list, what you need and told you all that I was going to come on and make this gumbo with you. So some of you went out and got your ingredients. Some of you marinated your chicken. Some of you are prepared and ready on tonight. So we're gonna start by going over our ingredients and then we're just gonna hop right in. All right, so here is my chicken. It's not boiling anymore, but here I have, it started off with just some water and chicken, some marinated chicken, legs and thighs. 
I added in a little bit of, and I marinated them in my Saison. So if you're catching the replay or you're just listening to try to see what I did, I marinated my chicken in Saison um, and adobo, okay, for a couple of days actually. I added in some bay leaves, about three bay leaves, some Old Bay, some uh, Creole seasoning, um, a little bit of Greek All Purpose, and that's it. So this, oh, and uh, a couple of chicken bouillon, okay? So this has been cooking on a low boil. It's now, you know, very low because I, it's not even boiling anymore because it's done. I didn't want to kill my chicken. So we have that. On the ingredients list is some uh, diced tomato, but I have stewed tomato here that I chopped up. I love stewed tomato. I know tomatoes, tomato, but I love tomatoes, period, but that's what I had. So I just took my stewed tomatoes. I like to take them rinse them off and then i chop them up okay so that's my stewed tomato it's two cans here because i'm going to make a larger pot today wasn't planning on making a large amount at first and i was like layla y'all know layla <laughs> you know the child that leaves home and always come back and want food i'm gonna make some extra so she can come and get some this is my trinity so this is my uh celery on top and then it's my bell pepper and then my onion on the bottom because i was just chopping it up so I got a big bowl of my Trinity here. I have my frozen okra. It's cut okra frozen. I just had it sitting out so that it'll thaw out. Okay. I have my Cajun and Dooley sausage that I just cut up, as you can see here. And I have some shrimp that is marinating in my uh, Saison. Okay, these are like small or medium shrimp. They're not real big. And then of course we have our seasonings. I have a little bit more Old Bay. I have some Creole seasoning. This here is my, um, I took my shrimp casings and boiled them and got that juice. So this is that shrimp casing juice. We're gonna use some of that honey when we make our gumbo. Okay now. And then of course I have my, the packet I wanted you all to use um, on today. Now, listen, if you wanna make your, uh, your roux from scratch and go ahead and do all that, I do not hate, I participate, honey. So this is what I'm using on today. If you don't wanna do all of that, is the Cajun gumbo base, the Louisiana. I recommend you try this. I've had people reach out to me from Louisiana and say, honey, it's good. Now. All I can tell you is try it, okay? Before you knock it, try it. Now, I don't have all night to make roux, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to make a gumbo that's quick, easy, and tasty. So we're gonna use this tonight. And I have some butter. And of course, we got other things like oil and stuff that we need. So we're gonna start by taking out our chicken. It smells so good. Y'all, Alana was like, when is the chicken gonna be done? I'm like, Alana, you can't just eat the chicken, baby. We, we making gumbo, okay? <laughs> so let me put this over here. And we are going to remove this chicken. Um, I probably should have got my other uh, tongue, but let me get something to put it in. Am I putting it in this? I'm gonna put it in this. So we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna cut it off the bone. It's hot, but we're gonna have to put our uh, juice in something so that we can go ahead and saute our vegetables in this particular pot. We're gonna do everything in one pot. So I, ooh, that chicken is falling apart, y'all. I can't even get it out. It's literally falling apart. Thank you for liking and sharing. I should have 400 shares. Thank you so much and 400 likes. I appreciate you all. Look how it's falling apart. Look. <laughs> the chicken is literally falling apart. Okay, so we're going to take that out. Now, listen, if you're not using chicken, it's no big deal, okay? So don't worry about that. Um, it doesn't matter what part of the chicken you use. I just wanted to do the combination of the gumbo tonight, uh, the chicken sausage and shrimp, just in case, you know, you can see every part of it that I do, okay? So if I'm doing the chicken, sausage, and shrimp, I start by boiling the chicken. So if you're just doing sausage and shrimp or just sausage or just shrimp, you'll see, or just chicken. I'll walk you through it, okay? And by the end of this live, you are going to be running around your kitchen, okay? Or your house or your yard, wherever you at, your hotel room, honey, wherever you are, okay? 
So some of my bay leaves, put that back in there. Those bay leaves are so good for flavor, you all. You just know it's all kind of flavor in this pot. That's all I can tell you. When you know what you do, you just know what it is. That's all I can say. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to reserve this juice because we're going to use this as well as some of our shrimp shell casing uh, juice to make our roux. So let me put, or, you know, for our gumbo. So let me get a bowl. Where's my other bowl? Interesting. Oh, it's in the sink. Never mind. I already got it ready. I try to be prepared when I come on live. <laughs> I really do. So let me go ahead and put this in here. Oh, yes, honey. Hold on now. Let me push this back. I got something I need to get out that strainer. Mm-hmm. Woo! Y'all, some chicken. No chicken left behind. So... We have our chicken here. It really don't even need to be cut up because it's just falling apart. So, you do, Laura. She says she has that type of pot. Let me move my water because that's in the way. Let me move this bowl. Okay, I'm going to move this over for a second so we can do our chicken, you all. I cannot wait for you all to taste this. Let me wipe this off. Before I move that over. What y'all doing tonight? Besides, if you're not cooking with me, what you doing? It's Friday night. I love Fridays because my kids don't have school. Because child, when your kids have school, you got to get up. Everybody got to get up. <sighs> okay. So, my chicken is hot. Do I want gloves? No, nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So clearly, it's falling off the bone. So <laughs> I'm gonna just put it here and let me know if you can't see. This is just another bay leaf. I think I did about four bay leaves. Y'all, those bay leaves, they add so much flavor to your food, okay? So we're gonna take the bay leaves out. I literally just shook the chicken off the bone. Did you just see that? <laughs> I just shook it off the bone. That's how that's that's what you call meat falling off the bone. Okay, so I'm gonna take these gristles out. So if you're cooking with me, all you want to do is remove your chicken like I did from your pot. Um, reserve your juice. Okay, reserve all that goodness. Do not get rid of that. And then you just want to get your chicken. You can chop it up, do whatever you want. Like I said, I like to remove the gristles and things like that. That way when you're eating your gumbo, you're not getting all of that stuff and having to spit that out and do all that stuff. So I'm removing all of that. The end parts to your chicken bone, to your legs, those bones that come on there, those extra veins, <laughs> all of that. Like those little pieces like that. You don't want your kids to be trying to eat that. Oh, that's another vein. Ugh. So we're going to get all that out. And I'm going to chop this up. Let me get my other bowl here. And I am going to... You really don't have to chop it. You know what? I'm not even going to chop my meat. You know what I'm going to do? Just put it right in the bowl. Because it's already like at a shredded type texture. So you can do what you want with yours. I'm going to leave mine just like that. And you will see how mine turn out. Okay? Cause it's really just, it's really already just, you know, you really don't have to do much. It's so tender. Ooh, it's falling apart as you can see. So I'm keeping this. <laughs> I had a little piece fall on the floor, but I wanted to show you how it's just falling apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. <laughs> put that in there. So you do what you're doing with yours. I'm gonna take the skin out. You can leave yours in if you want. I'm not leaving the skin in. Take some of these bones. We don't want no bones, no skin, no veins. I see veins. Let's take that out. And listen, if you're not making this with me now, I want you to try it. It's really, really good. I'm not just saying that. If you try any of my recipes, then you already know the deal, 
okay? It's really good. Ooh, my goodness, I've never seen such veiny chicken. So if you're using chicken breast, you're not having the issue that I'm having. All right. But the good news, let me taste it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, when I taste certain things, I just know when I'm going to be in trouble. I'm not supposed to be eating this gumbo, you all, because, number one, it has uh, that base has that, that uh, we got to put flour in there, too. That's that, those carbs. We're not supposed to be eating that. So, mm. Help me, Lord. I need to pray for strength right now because I feel myself getting weak, okay? Weaker by the moment as we are doing this because I don't know, honey. I'm going to have to at least taste it. When we made those uh, shrimp po' boys on, uh, when was that? Whenever we made the shrimp po' boys, I think it was Tuesday. You all, I taste one shrimp. It was so good. We're not supposed to be having fried foods. But when I tell you that fried shrimp, I had one. I had just one. I did. Believe it or not. I don't care if you believe me or not. Because it's my fat I got to lose. So I know what I'm doing over here. But you all, that, that one shrimp, it was so good. And I had to stop right there because I knew I was going to be in trouble. Because I know myself. So, um... <sighs> Normally, I don't make this much chicken, but like I said, I was thinking about my daughter. So, she's supposed to come over and grab her some to take back to her place. That way, she can have some to eat on for a couple of days. So, that's why I made so much tonight, okay? Because y'all know it's just me and um, Bella, my grandbaby, and Alana, and um, Aaliyah. My oldest, well, not my oldest, but my oldest is still home. <laughs> And soon, you all, Tyler will be here. If you all know my son, Tyler, um, he will be here for the summer soon. This year has flown by. It seemed like the kids just went back to school, you all. And now, it's already almost time for the kids to get out for summer again. And that's why it's so important that we live our lives to the fullest. Because time ain't, ain't waiting. Time is flying by. I cannot believe it. It's going to be Christmas again. <laughs> Literally, we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas and all that stuff again. I'm going to tell you something funny, too. I was on the phone with my aunt. I was at the store earlier grabbing some items. I have uh, some things I have to do this weekend. But anyway, I'm on the phone. I'm at the store, grocery store grabbing some groceries. And my aunt, I went, <gasps> and she was like, what happened? What happened? I was like, girl, they got some chitlins. <laughs> Y'all, they have chitterlings. I never see chitterlings in the store, so I'm going to go tomorrow and grab me about three buckets of chitterlings so that I can put them in my deep freezer, honey, so that I can make them for, uh, for Christmas or Thanksgiving. We'll probably do Christmas this year because we did Thanksgiving last year. All right, you all. I am just about done with this. If, you, if you're done, just wait on me. I'm sorry. Be patient with me tonight. Okay. I got all the gristles out. I want, oh, hold on. No, that's another piece. Hold on, y'all. Because when my kids are eating, I don't want them to get gristles or bones in their food. Aaliyah, check on Bella Boo. Or is that Paco banging on the door? Get, tell Paco to stop knocking on the door. Dogs or something else. They like humans. He, he knocking on the door to get out because he smelled his chicken. That's what he doing. Okay, you all. So my chicken is all the way together. I'm sorry if that took too long. Bear with me. Okay. So I'm going to... So here's all my chicken. Okay. Did everyone hit like and share? Yes. Thank you so much in advance. All right, we're done with this all together. So I'm gonna move this stuff over here. Let me grab this little piece of chicken I dropped. Cause that meat was falling off the bone. And we can put this over here. Paco, cut it out. 
Aaliyah, get him. I don't want him knocking on the door while I'm on live. I don't want that. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but if you can, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the dog. The dog is knocking on the door. All right, you all. So now that same pot that you took your chicken out of, it still has some deliciousness. You see all that in there, that flavor? Go ahead and turn your pot on. We're gonna turn it on a medium, a medium heat. Let's go to medium. You could probably do medium high on your stove. I have to do medium on here because this thing, it cooks high. Thank you, Maggie, because she hooked me up with this. We're gonna put a little oil and a little butter into our pan. A little oil. Don't put no butter yet. What is he doing? Okay. <laughs> we're gonna put a little oil and then we're gonna cook our sausage. Now, if you're not using sausage, this is another step that you will just leave out, okay? And then once I get this in there, I'll be able to look at your comments and talk to you all. This pot, Misty, uh, it was either Marshall's, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. Marshall's, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. They kind of all, kinda, I think, run in the same circle, so to speak. So um, they all kind of have these same brands. This is like that Palms pot. It probably is the Palms. Let's see. Yep, it's the same kind of pot, the palms. Y'all know I like to use the shorter one, the little skillet. Same thing, it's just a stock pot. So definitely get you one. I love these pots. So I'm gonna add in my Cajun and Dooley sausage. You can use whatever you like. But this one has so much flavor and it's really good for gumbo. If you do the uh, the Cajun style, it's very good. Or Andouille. Let me put this over here. I hope I'm saying that right. Andouille. Am I saying it right, y'all? I be saying stuff all wrong, child. I remember when I first started on um, cooking live, people used to correct me all the time. <laughs> Y'all remember that? <laughs> I was like, Aisha, that's not how you say that. <laughs> I'm talking about gumbo file. <laughs> They're like, it's gumbo filet. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to turn my heat up just a little bit because it's not as high as I, ooh, it smells good. Ooh, that smells good. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit and I'm gonna look at your comments. James said, gotta have that sausage. I know that's right, me too. Diane, I have the uh, the, the skillet. I have the, uh, that's normally what I cook in, the palm So I normally cook out of this. This is my this is my everyday skillet. <laughs> I cook out of this all the time. I love this skillet. And it's also the palm. So so this is the stock pot version. Same thing. Literally. Love it. The L's are silent. Let me see. I missed that. And do so it's and do and do. Am I saying it right? And do and do and do. If the L is silent, it's and do sausage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you are cooking with me, let me know. I know you're probably doing your own thing right now. You probably can't comment, but let me know in the comment section if you make this another time. I always want you to come back and let me know. Let me know how you like it, okay? Hi, Linda. Jeannie, Jeannie said, and do we? And do we? Is that, am I saying that right? And do we? And do we? Hey, Leroy. Listen, I may can't pronounce it, but I promise you I can cook it. I promise you that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jean said, yes. Lisa, I'm going to tell her you said, hey, girl, she in there probably playing uh, Roblox. Thank you, Suzanne. I got it. See, I begin the lesson too. And Dewey sausage. And Dewey. It's almost like salmon. Salmon is not salmon. Salmon. 
so. And Dewey. I got it. Y'all may have to help me another time, though. <laughs> I ain't gonna promise you I'm gonna remember that. And Dewey. That's my lesson for today. And Dewey. And Dewey. Not and Dewey. And Dewey. And Dewey. Okay. I got it. Linda, I only have the digital versions of my cookbooks on my website at cookingwithaisha.net. But go ahead and grab it because, honey, when I tell you, when they come back in hard copy, they coming back full of fat, okay? Y'all be patient with me. I got some things working and cooking. I just ain't told y'all yet because I learned not to say nothing. Every time I would say something, stuff be happening. So now I'm just moving in silence. And I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to surprise y'all when stuff is done. How about that? Hi, Jane. Thank you, Jacqueline. Hi, Sabrina. Okay, so you just want to cook your sausage. Now, mind you, I cut my sausage up like this. So if you're cooking with me, you probably may have, you know, cooked your, I mean, cooked, cooked yours round or whatever. You just want to cook them for a little bit. You don't really have to cook your sausage because we're going to put it back into our gumbo. So the main thing is just to brown it a little bit and then I'm gonna take it out. So I'm gonna grab me a bowl and take this out. And then we're gonna do our um, Trinity. We're gonna make our roux. We're gonna put it together. And then I'm gonna let you know, because if you're gonna simmer your gumbo for a little while, you don't wanna put certain things back into your gumbo, okay? So we'll get to that point though, all right? Let me grab a bowl. This sausage smells amazing and dewy. Got it. Note it. When I go on TV, I'm going to let people know. I'm going to let the world know that my people, my followers, the people that really support me, they help me <laughs> a whole lot. So I'm going to be shouting y'all out. I'm going to make y'all proud. I'm going to say, and dewy. Salmon. <laughs> Y'all laughing, but I'm being serious. Okay. So I'm going to take the sausage out. And then I'm going to add a little butter and a little bit more oil into my pan. Okay. So whatever you're adding to yours, whatever step, you just want to follow along and hop on at that point. Okay. I'm using a little unsalted butter, but does it matter? To me, no. Okay. Now, if you follow me, you know I use a little more butter than I, you know, than you probably do, and that's okay. So you use whatever amount of butter you want to use. And we're going to add in our trinity. So this is our celery that I chopped up. We got some onions, and we have some bell pepper. Whatever you don't like, just leave it out. Don't make anybody feel like you have to have certain things into your gumbo, because you don't. I can't cook with you tonight, but next week in class, I'm great. Okay, Tracy, on Fridays, you all you all voted. So I made a post and I asked you all what would be the best night to cook along with me. And you all, Friday was the most popular day. So if that's not a good day for you, um, one of the things I recommend is you sign up as one of my subscribers. I cook for them. Definitely uh, a minimum of four times we have classes per month. But I also provide ingredients, measurements, and you have full access. Not full access like that, but you know, you have access to me. So, um, or you can just join me on Fridays. I'll be here cooking with you all. I don't know what we're cooking next Friday, but I will pose a question for you all to see what you all want to cook next week. So I'll give Fridays to our cook along class, if that's okay with you all. Do y'all see that? Ah, can y'all see? Oh, let me bring it back. I'm sorry. Can y'all see? You may have to move your comments. I'm so sorry. Thank you for joining me tonight. If you have not already, hit the like and hit the share. Sharing is caring, honey. So we have our andouille sausage that is cooked. Mm -hmm. And let me get my okra because we're going to put that in next. Now, when I'm making my gumbo, you want to see me adding a little more oil here and there. That's not something you have to do. But at some point, you are going to need more oil because, or I'll give you another option. I'll tell you what you can do. 
I'll tell you what you can do because you don't have to do more oil or okay no problem I'm gonna let you know sometimes I jump ahead my ahead of myself but I'm gonna let you know what to do if you don't want to do more oil I need my I'm gonna cook my onions and celery for a few minutes and you just want to stir them occasionally I love this Trinity because it smells so good it smells so good mm. and it's just everything because the pot was already flavored with the chicken how we you know boiled our chicken and then we cooked that sausage in there and then now we added butter and we added in this Trinity mix. So it's all these flavors are coming into my nose, you all. It just smells so good. So I'm excited. I'm excited. It smells delicious. Uh -huh. I'm cooking on a medium high heat because we don't want to burn anything. <laughs> we don't want anything to burn or scorch, okay? <laughs> so it's just on a medium high. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Paula. It does, Lisa. It really does smell good. Hey, Matthew. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> hey, Cater, my way with Mr. Willie J. Thank you for that scripture, James. Thank you. Patricia, I have fresh garlic, but I did not use any in here. Seems like I put some fresh garlic, though, in my boiled chicken. But I guess I didn't. What else did I cook? What did I make yesterday? Y'all, what did I cook yesterday? Oh, that's what it was, you all. I made um, chicken spaghetti. So yesterday, I did uh, boiled chicken thighs, and that's when I used the, uh, the garlic, the fresh garlic. So, But you can put fresh garlic in yours, no problem. Hey, Jeffrey. Jeffrey said he made mustard fried ribs, honey. I know that's right. Baked beans, brisket. You just coming in here to show out. Hey, Mika. Hi, Charm. Hi, Molly. Praise God, James. Thank you, Patricia. Hi, Kurt. Okay. So, I don't want them to get too, too soft. But you can cook yours as long as you like. I just don't want to leave anybody behind. Is anybody cooking with me or y'all just watching and you're going to cook? I want you to make it though. Please make this recipe. Now, I'm not playing. It's really good. Hey, Susie from Tallahassee. Hi, Lynette. Hey, Tania. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I appreciate you. All right. Now, I'm gonna take my heat up some on this particular pot because it's not, it doesn't cook like my stove. It does cook high, but not like my stove. So you're gonna see me do a few things. Now, this is what you can do when it comes to, well, that's not the time yet, hold on. Cause I'm adding okra. If you're not adding okra, just wait for me. If you are, add it in your pot, okay? I added a little more oil as you saw. <laughs> like I said, you're gonna see me doing a little stuff. And this helps if you don't like slime, okay? If you don't like slimy okra, I personally do. I love okra. I don't care if it's slimy, not slimy, fried, baked, boiled, pickled. I love okra. But I'm adding it in right now because this is the way I do it when I make my gumbo. So let me put this over here. And I'm just going to stir my okra in with my Trinity mix, okay? I'll make it. I just don't have my ingredients. Okay, I want you to get your list and I posted the ingredients for you. If you missed the ingredients list, it is on my page, but you can email me. Just send me an email and I will email you the ingredients list because I want you to make it. That's how much I want you to make it. So we're just going to stir our 
stuff here for a little bit. This pot cooks higher on my stove. It's just that my, my cooktop is a little small, but it's okay. It's still working. Hi, Patricia. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're from Mississippi. Okay. Thank you for hopping on. Yes, you can make it without shrimp. Okay, Linda. And that's the thing. I want you to know, you make it however you want. If you don't like bell peppers, if you don't like celery, if you don't like okra, please don't feel pressured to make your gumbo the traditional way that some people do it. I am all about make it the way you want because you're the only one that have to eat it. And you don't want to make something in a way that you don't want it. Thank you for the stars. Thank you so much. You don't want to make something the way you don't want it. That don't make any sense. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give this about another two minutes. And then we're going to add in a little bit more of my butter and oil. And then I'm going to let you know. Well, let me tell you now. So if you don't want to add more oil and butter into your pot and you're making the gumbo, take your gumbo mix and pour it into a cup or a bowl, okay? So I have a bowl here. I'm not going to pour mine in here. I'm going to show you how to make it right in the pot. But you take a cup or a bowl, pour your gumbo mix in it. If you're making a big pot, you can add in some extra flour because this has flour in it. It has your gumbo filet. It has all that good stuff in it. That's why I like to use this. Okay, it has all that good stuff in it. It's so good. So if you're making a large pot like this, you can um, add a little extra flour, which you'll see me do, but I'm gonna do everything here. Put it in a cup, okay? This, some extra flour, about three, four tablespoons. Um, and then you put a little water in it, enough to, of course, moisten your mixture, stir it well, and then you can pour it in there. Cause you just want it blended. But I'm gonna blend mine in here. So when you know how to do that, you don't have to worry about stuff being clumpy and stuff like that. And you will see what I'm talking about when we get to that point. All right. Okay. Now the reason I'm adding more moisture to my pan is because in order for, mm, there's an onion. In order for my mixture to dissolve and not be clumpy i have to have more moisture okay i have to have enough moisture to take care of that and i didn't add a lot i added a couple tablespoons of butter and a little more oil where is my oh let me grab this real quick i'm grabbing my chicken broth okay so if you if you're making this Grab your chicken broth, you need it nearby because we're about to put some in here. I'm going to take this. Pour it in. And I'm taking my flour because I know I'm going to need it a little thicker. I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there too. Mix this together until it's moistened, okay? Can y'all see? Mix it into all of your uh, mix, your batter stuff that you pour, not batter. <laughs> your gumbo stuff is mixed, your base. Now, you need to go ahead and start pouring in your uh, broth. Ooh, that's heavy. Now it's really thick right now, so we're gonna pour some more in there. And let me grab some of my shrimp stock. Mmm. I'm pouring all that in there, honey.
and it's easy to make that shrimp stock. All you gotta do is if you're using shrimp, once you peel and devein your shrimp, or definitely peel them, of course, go ahead and take those shrimp casings, throw them in a pot, honey, and boil them in some water for a little bit. And to get that shrimp stock, then, you know, just strain them. And take your shrimp stock and put it right on in your gumbo. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. So, I know I can go ahead and add the rest of this. So, all of that goodness... When I boil my chicken, I get to use it, okay? And that's enough uh, liquid for me. So let me put this over here. Now, at this point, I can go ahead and add in, because this has to cook down. So I can go ahead and add in my sausage. What I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna add in my chicken, and I'm not gonna add in my shrimp especially. I don't like overcooked shrimp. So shrimp is the last thing that I add in. So if you're doing a shrimp gumbo, I recommend you wait until you're just about ready to eat your gumbo, okay? It's nothing wrong with letting your gumbo cook and simmer however long you want to do it, but I would not put the chicken back in just yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until this is where I want it to be, okay? So the sausage, I don't mind that cooking, so I'm going to add that back in. Y'all, it smells so good. Now, it's going to thicken up because we got this package here, okay? It's going to thicken up, and then you also have the flour that we added in. So, hopefully, it's not going to be too thick. <laughs> but if it is, you can always thin it out with a little chicken broth. If you have some more of your chicken stock, you can do that. Or if you just need to use water, do that, okay? But, it, oh, it looks good. Oh, it looks good. Okay, and it smells good. It smells good. So I also have my tomatoes, so I'm going to add those in because I want those to soak up this flavor. So let me pour off this water. Can y'all tell I'm excited? <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. Let's move this over here, honey. I think, you know what I'm going to do tonight, you all. I think what I'm going to do is do the dishes for my daughter. Don't tell her though. All right. So, you all. Mm, 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 mm. This is a pot of goodness. Now, I'm going to let my gumbo cook for a little while, just like this, before I add in my chicken. So, I'm going to give it about, I would say, 20, 30 minutes. Then I'm going to add in my chicken, okay? Then I'm going to let that cook about 20 minutes, okay? Maybe 15. And then I'm going to add in my shrimp last, okay? I got some rice already set aside in the fridge so I can serve my family. There's no school tomorrow, so they'll probably eat around 8 o'clock, honey. And I'm just excited. Thank you, um, Yoshi. Thank you so much. Thank you for tagging, sharing. Thank you for liking, all of that goodness. So any questions before we hop off? Any questions? Y'all know I'm going to post the finished product. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to show you. Hi, uh, Redbone. Hi, Kimberly from Louisiana. I understand. Listen, I understand. <laughs> Somebody said, Gregory said, have you ever cooked turkey knuckles? I have not, Gregory. I had never even heard of turkey knuckles. Matthew, yes, you can have a bowl. Listen, you know I got you. <laughs> I got you, Matthew. Hi, Lynette. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Oh, it's going to be good. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you. But I wanted to show you this easy way just to put it together. But you got to go back and listen to what I did. Do the marinating of your chicken. Use the flavors that I used. I'm telling you, use them. Just try them one time. Try this one time. That's all I'm asking you, okay? Try my way one time. And listen, you can still do it your way, but I promise you this will be a way that you will also make your gumbo. There's always more than one way to do something, okay? And you just never know. You never know. This may be the way to change your life. <laughs> Thank you, Marta. Thank you. Is it Kokia? Miss Evans? 
Roshan, I have to order this offline. It's supposed to be at Walmart, it's supposed to be at Publix, and it's not. So I go to Amazon and order mine. I got three packets at a time, so um, I just go to Amazon. But just remember, it's Louisiana. You could probably find it at your local store. You should be able to. Kroger, um, wherever, Schnucks, you know, um, wherever you live. You know, for me, I live in the South, so it's when dixie and Publix and Walmart, but they don't, they didn't have it. They supposed to, but they don't have it. So I order mine offline. Thank you, Christine. Yes, I sure can, Alfred. Now, my to my subscribers, y'all need to reach out to me and let me know what y'all want to cook for uh, April. Okay, let me know what y'all want to cook for April, and then you all let me know what y'all want to cook next Friday. What are we making next Friday? Y'all supposed to be cooking with me. So I ain't gonna be coming on here doing a cook along and you ain't cooking with me. This ain't this ain't no cook along. This is me cooking. <laughs> Good, uh, Linda. Or yeah, Linda. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Tania. <laughs> Try them. Okay, Gregory, if I can find them, I sure will. Thank you, Life with Ava. I love you all. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Y'all know that's something we can't get back. So anytime you hop on my lives, I truly appreciate it. Love you guys. I'll be back to show you all the finished product. So make sure you be looking out for me in the next 45 minutes. Let's say an hour. What time is it? It's 7 o'clock. Thank you for your time. Hop back on at 8 o'clock and just check my page. Make sure your notifications are turned on too. And I will post the finished product. Any questions, just email me at cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com and become a subscriber, y'all. There's benefits to this. It's more benefits than cooking classes, by the way. All right, love you guys, and I'll see you shortly. <laughs>